the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. My name is David McNaughton and I'm a member of the congregation here at St John's Episcopal Church in Edinburgh. Let us worship with words from Psalm 36. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains. Your justice is like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favour to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 11 to 15. When Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands,